hello guys thank you for being here uh, just give me a few short seconds to send out the links to as many that needs to join us as well welcome welcome thank you for joining me welcome 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 thank you for joining me i'll be showing my face shortly i just want to invite other people that needs to be here other people that needs to be here i trust my voice is clear enough you can drop a comment but i'll stop this right now hello everybody thank you for joining me thank you so much for being here i'm just trying to get a few more people down here let me just send the links to our telegram group and also on facebook to let everyone know that we are live we are live we are live thank you for being here it's a wonderful saturday from here nigeria it's 11.05 in Nigeria. And I believe that you're having a good time wherever it is you are. Um, so we are going to be going to this. And I promise that we are going to be having an impactful moment together. And I, I will try to make sure that this is very short so that we don't spend all the time. Yes, welcome. This is at Amazon here. I... I want to appreciate you for being here. Thank you very much for joining me on today's live session. I'm going to try my best to make sure that everything gets snappy today so that we are able to hit on the nail and have a good time. My intention for today's broadcast is to respond to questions that I have been getting about Amazon KDP and help you clarify any area of you know um, obscurity that you may have and help you know why you should start publishing your books on amazon and if you have issues about amazon publishing then today is the right time to ask those questions and i get to respond but before i go into what we have i just want to make a formal introduction of myself to inform everyone joining us because i know that the last time i came live in this group uh, was a few months ago and we were less than we are less than 5,000 members at the time. But as of today, we are 27,700 members in this community. And it's so exciting to see the influx of a lot of young people, a lot of you know people from different parts of the world joining us. And it's, it's so amazing. So my name is Seth E. Thomas, and I'm fondly called Seth Amazon because of the level of expertise I've built you know, over time. I've been publishing on Amazon for three years now. And because of interactions I've had with people, a number of clients that I've worked with, it's it's so amazing to, to see how they, they coined the, the name set A Thomas to set Amazon Thomas. So a lot of people call me um, set Amazon. And well, it's a name I, I have not rejected so far. In fact, I have I have you know Christian myself to become set Amazon. Anyway, so um I created this community out of um, the desire to help people get their books published because my philosophy is about value and one of the things that guides me and guides everything i do is the mindset that i know what exactly i could do to help anyone move the thoughts in their minds to the hands and devices of people and buyers all over the world so and uh, in 2019 i tried to publish my first book my very first book online 
using a third party application as at that time i had just you know um, written a book and i wanted it out distributed you know distributed to a lot of people a lot of people uh, the people from ghana it moved from from the us and uk wanted copies of that book and i didn't know how to go about it so i searched online and discovered that i could use um, amazon could help me facilitate it but i didn't know how to go about it so what did i do i went online i tried to search on ways to go about it and then i, I landed on this third party website that promised to help me publish my book and you know not only put it on amazon but also put it on over 20 other platforms i think at the time and it was free so i i you know registered created an account and then i put out my my book but i discovered that this time i put out the book it kept being rejected you know they would say that either the formatting was wrong or the style i used was wrong you know something was just wrong one thing was just wrong and each time I tried to publish, it kept being rejected. And for 15 times, my book was rejected. You know, for 15 good times, my book was rejected. On the 16th attempt, when the book was finally approved and published on Amazon, you could imagine the joy. I was so happy. I was so, so happy. But the good thing was that while my book kept being rejected, I always tried to, I was documenting every process, documenting the process, and that built the confidence and mastery that I now have to be able to now help other people. So when that book was published, I now figured that there are a lot of other people who would, you know, come also through this route. They'll come also through this route. And I don't want, I, and I just felt like instead of letting every other person go through this failed attempt, I, I failed 15 times and I didn't want so many people to also go through this failed attempt in publishing their book. And so what did I do? I now documented all the thoughts and plans, and then I started helping other authors to publish their books one by one, one by one, and that's how it kept going. I was I was doing it for free at the time. Then I started to charge a fee, a very small amount, and that's how it kept going. I kept going, and just last year, in twenty, you know, um, July twenty twenty one, uh, it dawned on me that okay, I should create a community that um, we can come together. And then I use the level of my experience to guide as many people who would have issues publishing their own book. So that's how I, you know, I figured out, okay, let me just go ahead and create this community. And just like, uh, as it was, I just created the community. And as the time I created the community, just a few people joined and I started to share a few tips on okay, what to do, how to go about it. And between July and a few months later, August, September, you know, I, I started to see food joining from places I could not tell. And throughout the entire month, uh, I mean, yeah, um, uh, throughout uh, 2021, we were less than 400 members in the community. And before you knew it, in 2022, we started, you know, doing some other work, you know, talking about Amazon publishing, helping more people. And just like a snap, here we are with 22,000 members, very soon we'll be 23,000 members, and we keep growing. So th this is the very first time I'm coming live um, officially to, first of all, welcome every one of you who have been here, who have joined us, um, you know, just recently. I want to say a very big thank you for coming in here. Um, um, it's it's so, it's so, so amazing to see a lot of people who, uh, who have the same thoughts and patterns to get things done I, I really appreciate every one of you so for those of you joining me live thank you i see the comments you have been placing and the questions you're also having please stay with me i'm going to be responding to as many questions as i possibly can today so that i we can have a good footing and move on all together so um so i'm, I'm going to start by re responding to some of the questions we have gotten in the community then i also respond to those um questions i'm also getting in the comments right now so um how we're going to go about this is i'll just share my screen i'll go to the facebook community so that i'm going to pick up the questions as they appeared um when i made the post i think i made that post in, in um let me see let me see i think i made that post in i made that post in um come let me see just give me a short few seconds to check this out. 
I made that post in July of this month, if I'm not mistaken. All right, so I hope you can see my screen. I hope you can see my screen. I don't know what's happening. Um, okay. Let's see. Okay, um, guys, just give me just just give me a while to figure this out. Just give me a while to figure this out. I'm coming. Um, while I'm trying to figure that out, just enjoy this music. Just stay with me, guys. I'm coming. Just a few seconds, and I'll be back. Guys, just stay with me. I'm, I'm getting everything ready right now. Yep, I think we are good. Yep, okay. All right, all right. Sorry about that. Let me share the screen again. And um, we will be on a good footing together. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. All right. All right, guys. I hope you can see my screen right now. All right. Okay. I'll just take. Okay. Let me just leave that. I hope you can see my screen right now. So um. So on um, on the second of July of twenty twenty two. I made this post in the community. Got um, got any questions about Amazon KDP? Ask. I'll do my best to respond to it. So, I made this post in the community saying that I'm going to be answering questions about Amazon KDP, and you could see that the post the post got um, a reach of four thousand nine hundred people, and we had about three hundred and fifty one comments both questions and a few other people attempting to answer some of those questions and so um i want to use this, this live broadcast to respond to that question i know that it's been a while but i just thought that okay it would be still good for me to come up and respond to this question so what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to try to respond to as many questions that are here i'll just try to respond to as many questions that are here so i want to go with um let me see from the most recent but i think it would be best to respond to those who ask their questions first so what i'm just going to do is i'm just i'm just going to scroll down i'm not going to scroll downwards and then see how many questions i'm going to be picking so i'll just i i deliberately had to do this live so that you see that i'm picking the questions live and i'm responding to them as i read through so just to show you that we are trying to give real-time support and real-time help to those who are in this community that's the essence of the community it was created as a training community for people who publish books on amazon writers creatives from africa and every other part of the world and self-publishing authors 
So this is the essence of this community, and we are commit committed to doing um to do our doing our best to help as many people as we possibly can. So I'm going to start from here. I think because this is like the first comment we got here. And divine as Isaac was asking, how well do we search for keywords? Uh I don't really get this question, but if if I guess it correctly, maybe you're trying to ask how do you search for keywords for Amazon publishing? So um personally, I'm going to be responding to your questions based on personal experience and every other thing that I'm going to be sharing will help you directly. So how I search for keywords, I'm going to give you a, a few hints and then I'll tell you the way it's done. So I there are three things I'm going to say now about searching for keywords. One of the first ways and one of the one of the most effective ways of searching for keywords is to use the Amazon marketplace. Use the Amazon marketplace for Kindle books. If you use the Amazon marketplace for books, you are able to get exciting and good keywords. Let me see if I can share my screen to show you how that is done. Um, if it's possible for me to do that, I will. If it's not, I will just ignore. So, okay, let me see. I think I should be able to do that. I should be able to share. And not let me stop sharing that and show you something else that could excite you right now. Okay. I, I hope you can still see. Um, I hope you can still see my screen. All right. So this is like my author's profile on Amazon because I know that uh, a lot of you uh, may not know, but I also publish my own books on Amazon. I have quite a number of books on Amazon. So um, what I'm going to show you right now is one of the ways I search for keywords, right? So let's say I've written a book on marriage and I want to get keywords that possibly relate to marriage that could help my own book rank on Amazon and store. So what I will do is I'll come here. This is the Amazon store. I'll come here and then I'll search for, let's say, I'll just look at what I'm doing. I'll just search marriage. If I do marriage now, and let me pause this. Okay. Okay, now look at this. You could see some suggest some suggestions here. It says marriage portraits, Maggie O'Fell, marriage auction, marriage help, marriage for one, marriage for one, all of that. These are suggestions that this is this particular um this this particular extension this particular chrome extension that's currently installed on, on my on my um browser right now it's called amazon titans just go to your extension bar and search for titans for it's, a, it's an amazon tool that helps you create um suggestions for you know for um for keywords so it's currently installed in my in my browser i i i, I have actually forgotten about this but i just saw it right now because i was trying to search so this can help you create suggestions. And when you see suggestions like this, it's to tell you that these are the things that people are actually searching for. So even without this particular extension, you can actually use, as you, as you search for, say, marriage for, as you search for um, the words here, Amazon will automatically auto fill the suggestions for you. I don't know how many of you have done this on, on Google. Just like you search on Google, you search for your are trying to look for um, something on Google. As soon as you start, start typing the words, Google will automatically fill up some of the, the suggested keywords. So all of those suggestions are what real-time people actually search on the you know on, on the search bar, either on Amazon or on Google. So those are suggestions that could be very useful for you. So you see, I said I wrote my marriage for you could see marriage for one. Married for one extra short stories, married for all of that, marriage for one elements, married for dummies, married for God, and all of that. So you this could be possible ways for you to get ahead with keywords, right? So you could use the Amazon search bar to do that. You could get this extension, self-publishing titan. This is it. Or you could use another extension. I, I also try to use it's called um, keywords everywhere. Go just good Google keywords everywhere. It's actually a free tool. Install it on your browser. I want to install it on your browser. 
you are now able to get keywords that could be useful and helpful to you. Oops, I thought I thought I was sharing this. So sorry, I thought I was sharing this. Okay, so I was trying to show you. Um, I was trying to show you this. Like, okay, this is me on on um, Amazon search bar. This is this is the Amazon Kindle store, and I said that there are a few extensions that I have. Well, before the extension, one thing you can do in order to get keywords is to simply just search, come to this Amazon website and just search for um particular keywords you are looking for. For instance, I said if I was writing a book on marriage. I'm just going over this because I, I just discovered that you didn't see what I was trying to explain. If I was going over this and I search for marriage, for instance, Amazon will give me suggested keywords. And I said that these keywords are actually what people are searching for. Real-time people, what people come here to look for. So you could use any of these as a keyword guide for your book. If you're writing a book that has to do with marriage, any other thing you're looking for, just come here and search for it. And I said that I have a... I have a tool, self-publishing titans. Just go to your extension bar on your Chrome browser, and you would see, you would see, um, part for getting extensions. Just look for um, self-publishing titans, and you'll be able to see that. Then I also said that you can go to Google and search for keywords everywhere. Keywords everywhere will help you crawl, you know, what people are searching for on the internet. And it will show you the range with which people, the, you know, the volume of search per keyword, and you can use that as a leverage to publish your book to get good words to publish your book i hope that helps you a lot i hope that helps you a lot so i'm uh, moving on moving on i'm going to also um let me just go ahead and respond to the other questions i'm having here i see that we have a lot of questions and i i would want to I would want to respond to everyone as much as I can. I want to respond to everyone as much as I can. Um, okay, let me close this. Okay, so moving forward, someone is asking what types of books are most demanding on Amazon. Um, right for this question, a lot of people will tell you that there are stuff called evergreen books, there are stuff called this kind of book, there are stuff called you know, I see recently people are saying you should go and write on Halloween books, you know, trending and all of that. Uh, what I want to tell you is that Amazon Mark, uh, Amazon KDP, as it stands, it's it's a it's a marketplace. I, I say this every time. It's a marketplace. There are no hacks, in quotes. There are no hacks that you could expressly tell anybody to as to how it works. Um, I guess I would have to. You know why. Okay, there are no hacks per se as to how this thing works to say that, um, okay, you focus on this kind of books and you definitely make sales. No, because it is not an automated system that just, you know, uh, begin to uh, guarantee sales, printing money, like people would say, cash, cash printing machine. No, Amazon KDP is a marketplace where real people come to buy books. Real people, like you are now, you are currently on this broadcast because you are a real person you can hear me you can you know i can uh, I, you can hear me speak because i'm also a real person so uh, because we are real people we have psychology we think and we have real needs we have real demands so to respond to this question and to respond to you i would say if you are on this broadcast now and maybe you have been told that this kind of book sells more or that kind of book sells more i tell you that nobody has it all figured out because it's a marketplace. It's just like asking what kind of product sells in, for instance, I mean, Abuja, say in Garki Market, for instance, what kind of product sells in Garki Market? It's not about what kind of product sells in Garki It's what are the needs of people? That's the question you should be asking. What are the needs of people? And what can I write around the needs of people? If you're able to figure that out, what are the needs of people? You'll be able to now know what kind of books to write? It's not about the kind of books that are demanding. No, what are the demands of people? What are the needs of people? What are the problems that people have? What solutions can I bring? What questions can I answer? That is the way to think about this. If you're able to ask questions in this direction, you are not able to write books that will now sell. 
yeah so i'll tell people to go to the place where the need is greatest and go to the place where there are everyday demands and if you're asking for suggestions i would say that look at yourself look at life look at the way it is look at the way life moves what are the things that people are asking questions on on this you know on a daily basis question you know the areas about relationship areas about health areas about you know marriage areas about business and money areas about you know creativity things that will not go out of fashion any day if you as much as the questions that exist have been asked the much more you know um um need for those stuff actually keeps coming on so go to the place where the needs are greatest go to the place where people have everyday concerns go to the place where people will definitely have needs for so that is the way you should think about the books kind of books you publish not just about what kind of books but what kind of um what kind of um a need what kind of problem do people have and how can i write a book how can i create a low content book how can i create a workbook how can i create a journal that will help to respond to these questions that will help to respond to this need so that's the way to think if you think that way it's not easy for you to go ahead so let me see if this is a question or a response um okay so this one is asking what is asking it says um thank you for this opportunity so my question is about pioneer I open an account to Pioneer before coming across your post about Amazon KDP later. Is it think that probably I open my Pioneer account as a business account, not personal account? But I'm not sure, and I don't know how to check that. I need the help with that. If there's if there's no problem that I can use Pioneer business on my Amazon KDP account, then uh, I am good to go. But if I can't, I want to know. I want to know how my account know my account type, and if it's business account, please I i want to change it okay so if if you register your account whether as an individual or a business account the first thing you should know is that for you to successfully register your pioneer account as a business account it means that you have used the business name so if it's your personal account that is on that pioneer account you can go ahead i mean if, you, if it's your name if it's your legal name that's on that pioneer account you can still go ahead and integrate it with um uh, with amazon because what amazon will check is what's the name on that account and what's the name on that pioneer account as long as they, um, they they are the same and the information they are the same you can go ahead and publish your book you can go ahead and integrate there are, there are no issues except if the name the the name on the pioneer account is entirely different from what you have used on amazon then that way you will not be able to proceed with your work um okay all right so i just responded to this question and okay i i see a number of people on the stream and they're asking questions i think i would love to let me just try and respond to as uh, many questions that i'm going to get here as well to reward you for being live with me all right so let me pick this question and see how we can work together to get that um let me see okay let me remove this so that and then let me change this uh, the questions comes up properly for me all right great so it says um my paperback was rejected for the size are incorrect it's supposed to be 12.5 but mine is 12.49 please how can it be corrected after uploading great so um how you can go about this first of all is to for me to ask you how did you create the cover how did you come about the cover right so if you know knew how you come about you came about the cover how you designed it all you first need to do is go back to where you designed it and change it from what it currently is from 12.49 just make it 12.5 or make it 12.6 you are allowed to make it wider than uh, required so you can make it 12.6 or make it 12.5 you just go back go ahead and edit it then how about uploading you know re-uploading all you need to do is first log into your amazon kdp account so you're on the bookshelf dashboard make sure you're on the bookshelf then thirdly ensure that you are at the point where you see the book the, the particular paperback you want to edit make sure you are at that point then when you go to the left 
I'm not to the right now to the right. You will see a three dot. You see three dots and then ellipse is there. So just click on that three dots. When you click on that three dots, you would see a, a, a set of options will pop up. A set of options will pop up, and you see the part where you you can edit paperback content. Edit paperback content. That is where you should click on. As soon as you click on that, it will take you to the interface where you had earlier uploaded the manuscript of the book. It has the PDF and also the cover of the book, right? So when you get to that point, that is where you now re-upload the cover. You re-upload the cover there. As soon as you re-upload the cover, you give it a few times. It will be in review. It will now be, uh, you know, tell that it's been published and then it will go live. As soon as it's live, everything integrates and gets updated. So that is how to update your um your 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 cover as soon as you publish your book right i hope that helps okay this other person is asking he says i created an ebook but yet to upload it on amazon the ebook is not lengthy and it's well detailed so i want to ask if i upload it now is there a particular time i will be notified of its approval or criteria okay um for publishing an ebook on amazon there are no set lengths so the number of maybe pages that you can publish but i always advise that you publish at least 24 pages long so if you publish your book on amazon amazon will, will inform you as soon as the book goes live but talking about criteria there are no set criteria to say but ensure that your book is not plagiarized that is that you you have not gotten the book from public domain you have not gotten the content for public domain ensure the book is not plagiarized ensure that you are giving a lot of value for that book and as soon as you publish that book on amazon when it goes live amazon will inform you that the book is now live amazon will inform you via email that the book is live and if there's an issue with the book amazon will also inform you so that you can go ahead and make the required corrections so yes you can go ahead to publish your book um the length per se is not supposed to be an issue although i admonish that you publish your book um you publish quality books you publish books that have at least 24 pages for ebook so that you know the, the 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 reader is going to get more value from whatever it is that you have published um okay thank you very much i appreciate your your kind words thank you thank you for being here with me all right so i'm going to go ahead to continue responding to the other questions we have here so let me scroll and see what other questions we have okay someone is asking how can i open an account thank you very much um Tunde, for responding to that question you can just go to kdp.amazon.com and you will be able to set up an account for free we will set up an account for free also i have i have i have um mentioned many times in this group there is a there's a particular um, post i had made for those who are just starting who don't have an idea on amazon kdp just go to this community and just search for um, if you're a beginner there's a way okay maybe I, i'm going to let me see if i can pull up that post and put it here in the comments let me see if i can pull up that post and put it here in the comments um let me see because in that in this community i have made a lot of posts to to tell um, as many people as possible that if you're just starting on amazon kdp there are free ways to go about it i i made certain posts and i shared certain free tutorials on our youtube channel you can see on our youtube channel you can see a lot of free posts free videos free tutorials that i keep making that can guide you so I, I was just hoping that you'll be able to see that but of course i understand that not everyone um was here when i made that post and not everyone will get to see it so i'm just copying i'm just going to copy this now and then i'll place it under this response i'll place it under this um, question as a response to this person so that we can all see that i'm responding live okay so i'm just going to um, please this this is the, the link to it i just respond to say that um you could start here
I have Great. So I've just made that comment for this person to see and perhaps um, get started with it. So I just hope that this person sees this comment and then takes action because in that particular, this particular post, I have outlined everything you, you, need, you need to get started for free, absolutely free. So now this person is asking, how do you end on here? <laughs> well, we end we end by publishing books, publishing quality books on Amazon, publishing quality books on Amazon and getting um, royalties consistently. So you just get started. Don't don't go, don't fall for the hype that people give to tell you that uh, you don't have to do anything. You just have to publish, um, you know, upload books, books with simple, simple, this, simple that. No, Amazon KDP, like I tell people every time is, it's not it's not a get it quick scheme and it's not all that um, easy to go about it's quite a hard journey but it's a hard journey that's going to stress and um, stretch you a hard journey that's going to stretch you but if you keep on doing the writing consistently if you keep on applying excellence to what you do definitely you're going to make a sale and you're going to make um you know you're going to make money from it but like i tell people every time you have to to learn before you end you have to commit to learning before you can end so commit to learning as much as you can then very soon shortly you are going to start earning as much as you'd want learn as much as you can and very soon you are going to start earning as much as you want so let's move on person asking i want to use a pen name on my amazon kdp account should i use same pen name to open a pioneer account on my real name. No, don't use a pen name to open a pioneer account. Use your real name. For pen names, pen names can be used as many times as you want while publishing individual books. I have a number of books on Amazon that I've used pen names. So, um, and you can use as many pen names as you want on Amazon KDP. And pen names are not peculiar to the account you use, but it's only peculiar to the book that you publish. So, um, you can use as many pen names as you want, but if you're creating a pioneer account, ensure you use only your pen name. Thank you very much, Tunde, again, for responding to this question. It says, use your real name to open boats. You can only use pen name as author's name while publishing. And this is very correct. Thank you, Tunde, for responding to that question. And that is what it is. So let's move on. Tunde has been responding to a lot of questions here. I appreciate you, man. Thank you. These are the kind of people we want in this community. People that will respond to people because they want to help them, not because they want to take from them, not because they want to um, lure them into buying some affiliate course or, you know, to just uh, bring them into a, a, a sort of funnel. This community was created to help people genuinely and correctly. So today is doing a very amazing job. I think I should give him a shout out very soon in the community. So, um, it says, please, how can I format a manuscript to be acceptable to Amazon KDP? Now, or about formatting your manuscript to be acceptable, on our YouTube channel, I have created a complete uh, playlist for that. It's actually a, a course I sell. Um, I, it's it's, it's tagged um, format like a pro. But right now, it's currently free on our YouTube channel. I, I, I posted other videos, about nine videos, that shows you the step-by-step -step procedure from start to finish. All for free that you can go ahead it shows you how you can you know format styles it shows you how you can use header it can show you how you can use titles it shows you how you can insert drop caps it shows you the exact way to format the layout of your book both for kindle and for paperback so that it can be accepted on amazon so um um you can go on, on youtube channel right now and get ahead with that let me also see if i can get that for you i'm going to post that video right now um on the youtube channel i mean from the youtube channel right now in that comment so that you can just go there right now and get a, get access to the entire playlist playlist of nine videos i have created that will guide you on formatting your books correctly 
that will guide you on formatting your books correctly. So it, it's going to help you a great lot. I know for sure. It's going to help you a great lot if you um if you if you take that seriously. So it's it's a complete complete video video story I, I, I made that I'm going to share with you right now. Um, okay, just give me a short sec to pick that up. This is Seth Thomas and your work. Okay. All right, so I've, I've gotten the link. Let me respond to her right here. So this is this is the this is tutorial video that she needs. Um, it's free. Um, training. So, guide you. Not the books correctly get approved on one attempt. Great, so I've responded to her and then we move on. We move on. All right, so um, read one is asking, what strategy are you using before launching your book? Like, how can you rank your book higher? Excellent. So now, st about strategy of ranking before publishing books. First thing you should know is that Amazon KDP is an international platform. It's a platform that people from the diaspora, people from the US, UK, and every other place of the world come to buy books. So. Sometimes I get um, I get trickled when I see people saying um, go to social platform and get what people are asking. Go to social platform and every platform they are recommending are Nigerian based. Most Nigerians may not be able to buy your book or when you publish it on Amazon. Sorry, but that's the truth because of the cost of shipping, right? You know, bringing it to Nigeria and the fact that most people don't actually shop on Amazon from Nigeria. Yeah, so you should know that your book. Is mainly going to be bought from people outside Nigeria, in, the, in you know outside outside this country. So now about ranking your book and the starting to go about. If you must rank your book, you should know that what makes a book rank on Amazon or you know Amazon is the is the rate at which people buy that book. Do you get it? So the visibility your book has and the rate at which people buy the book is what makes your book rank. Because the way Amazon ranking works is that it's been updated every hour. It's updated every hour. So today, your book might be ranking at, say, 100. And in the next hour, your book is now at, you know, 5,000 or, uh, you know, number three or number 10. So the way it works is that the rank works is like an, um, um, it's, it's like a, a, a scale of balance. As, as somebody book, somebody's books are being bought more than yours, yours goes down in the rank and the other person's book goes up in the rank so it's that's how it works as much as your book is bought your own book comes up and that other person's books come down so it's it's like the the, the rank works like a scale that balances itself based on the number of purchases per book so for you to rank your book one of the best ways to go about it is using searchable keywords keywords that people are actually looking for Keywords that that resonate with your book that also resonate with what people are looking for. So these are the kinds of keywords that you should use for your book. Amazon allows you to use about seven keywords. Make sure that you maximize that opportunity. Research the keywords, like um, they, it has been said here. Research your keywords. Now you can go to platforms, international platforms. I'll give you an example, like on Quora, for instance. Quora is a is a, is a worldwide platform that different people come there to look for stuff so if you are someone who writes a book about business join groups that relate to business and see what questions people are asking and then try to write a book that relates to that question and then go back to make the comment to say that okay my book is now live and then or you cannot you may not necessarily even say it's your book you can just make a comment very valuable comment and then write put the link to your book as a recommendation Do you understand it's a recommendation to 
um, um like an extra read for that person and before you know, people are going to buy your book and your book is ranking more right so keywords play a very great role and the categories with which you publish your book is also important because it plays a great role there are categories i can tell you that can um that can make you become a bestseller instantly because those categories require you to just publish maybe one i mean to to sell at least maybe one book or two books and your your book is um, ranking at number 10 in that category or ranking at number one in that category there are categories like that do you understand so there are categories like that that can help your book you know become an instant best bestseller if you know what to do right so these are strategies that people employ some of these categories and some of these strategies are actually paid that i that are, are actually paid categories uh, no, I know I actually paid strategies that I share with people who join my bootcamp, but that's not what I'm talking about today. Someone is asking now, what is the best niche? Again, talking about best niche, there are no best niches per se. The only thing you just want to know is what are the questions people are asking? In what niche is that question most prevalent? So ask right questions to say what are the best um what are the areas people are asking more questions at and then can i write a book that responds to that question can i write a book that responds to that problem what, what kind of question what is the rank if people what kind of questions are people asking are people asking more questions that has to do with the relationship and marriage are people asking more questions that has to do with making money are people asking more questions that has to do with maintaining good health are people asking more questions that has to do with you know um managing their businesses so those are the kind of questions you by that you know the level and the volume of questions people are asking in that particular area then you're able to now know okay this particular area has a level of a higher concentration of people and then if i write more books in this concentration i'm able to now get more people to read my book i'm able to now get more people to buy my book so that is the way you should um, um ask the question thank you Draymond and justin for your question i appreciate the fact that you responded um kiss is asking what is the minimum pages uh, my book should have okay thank you all right Tunde is really really resourceful here responding to a lot of questions here and i think he has already said it all that's the, that's the fact so minimum pages like i like i like i've said ensure that you write something you know um you know good enough for people to read good enough for people to read and get the value in it don't be hasty amazon amazon and kdp is not for hasty people don't be hasty write books that people will read write books that people will will um appreciate you for so for paperback the minimum is to actually 24 and there are no actually there are no minimums per se for kindle but it's recommended that you at least write some voluminous book, write, write some book with some volume that people can get the entire concept from start to finish. In fact, Amazon do not, Amazon frowns against books that you want to write. You write, okay, for instance, you write a book as a, as a lead magnet. Amazon frowns against those kind of books. If you want to write a book, write a book that we capture the entire idea and capture the entire essence of that book in one piece. Don't write okay say you're writing a book now you write the first part and you say watch out for my second uh, episode or watch out for the second book in the series no amazon frowns against such books right so measurement for both cover and the interior now if you want to get measurement for your cover and the interior especially if you are publishing your paperback i'm sure this is for paperback measurement for the people cover and interior one of the first ways to go about that is to know first of all what kind of book are you publishing but the standard size for Amazon, there are different sizes that Amazon actually approves. They are, they are, this is what we call standard size, they what we call non-standard size, and there are also custom sizes. So standard sizes, we have 5 by 8 inches, we have 5.5 by 8.5 inches, we have 6 by 9 inches, and then other ones too that are actually in that same category. So, But one of the, the ways to go about that is to just select any of those standard sizes that you tend to publish your book. By selecting the standard size, you already know what the interior size or the measurement for your interior should be, right? Then to also now get um, standard size for your, for the measurement, there is a link I'm going to share with you right now that I also use. It is very very useful. It has been very very useful to me. I use that to know the exact um, cover calculation. Um, let me. I'm coming. Let me I'll get that for you right now. 
another cover calculator. There's um, there's um, Amazon has a free tool that helps people to calculate the the size of their cover. Amazon has a free tool that helps people calculate the size of their cover. So I'm copying and pasting that link right now as a response to this person. It's going to help that person a lot. Sally Fu is going. To, this is going to help you a lot to um to get to get um access to what you should use I'll, okay let me also post that here on this live session to also benefit as many that are with me right now so i'm going to just um make this right now let me just make let me just make a a comment right now for you that is live to see what i was talking about so you can go to this website kdp.amazon.com forward slash cover hyphen calculator go to this website right now and is you are going to now see a tool that amazon has created for people who want to uh for people who want to know the exact size that they should use for their cover so if you're using six by nine for instance if you go to this tool you are going to respond to a few you're just going to you know um, impute certain parameters and as soon as you're done amazon will give you the exact calculation of your cover what your exact calculation of the cover should be and they also give you a template that you can download and then just use any of your creative design to to you know just fill up those space those places and your cover is good to go so like i said i'm going to respond to this person here so that the person is going to get um the easiest way to work with so use this free over calculation so to achieve what you want cool all right i've responded to that person and let's move on so um we have just five minutes because i intend to stay on this call for just one hour all right so uh, i think this is the much this is the much I can take okay. This person is asking what is evergreen books, and this person says, William uh, Amos says, books that teach you how to do something popularly called DIY. Uh, well, ever ev what people refer to as evergreen books are books that never go out of fashion, books that people will always buy in season and out of season. So, and like I've told you, if you are they're looking for evergreen books you may wait for a long time so just go to the areas that people have the need highest needs right on stuff that have everyday concerns stuff that people are always having issues about health you know hunger food employment money business all of those things that as as long as there is night and day as long as uh, we are we still remain on this earth people will always have issues with that relationship marriage you know stuff that have to do with all of that prayers you know these are things that people are always looking out you know um, to get response to so I, I i hope that today's live session was impactful for you i'm trusting that you had you had some aha moments i'm trusting that you had some um time to ponder about what i've I've shared with you so uh, i'm going to be ending this live session today here we are going to end at this juncture and i'm hoping that we continue perhaps i'm I, i'm going to see throughout next week to see when else is going to be convenient for us so that we can also continue uh, responding to these questions i i don't intend for this to be um, unnecessarily too long so I, I intend to stop right here and thank every one of you for joining me on today's live session and I believe that we are going to be having an amazing time again by next week so that we can come back again and I respond to your questions and we keep on learning together. So don't forget that this community is a community for training on Amazon KDP. Feel free to ask the questions that you have. Feel free to ask um, to, to anywhere you have gray areas, anywhere you have issues, just feel free to ask them either in the comment section of this particular live video or or maybe make it as a post in the community which is going to be approved because people in this community have come together just to learn from each other so it's it's going to be an awesome pleasure to help you as much as possible to you know continue to learn 
you know um and continue to get more at more success as is required for your own journey so um my name still remains set a thomas at amazon as i'm fondly called and it is a sincere pleasure to be here with you i really appreciate the fact that you have stayed this long with me and uh, if you're watching the replay also perhaps just let me know much later i think i should have said that much earlier but it's still fine so as many people that are going to come here and watch i appreciate you thank you very much for your comments i see you thank you although i cannot see exactly your name but i appreciate you for being here with me on this live broadcast and i, I think it's going to be a wonderful weekend it's going to be a very wonderful weekend and um, guys please watch out for some of the posts I'm going to be making from today up to next week, there are some, some exciting stuff I'm bringing your way that's going to help you. If you are an author, if you have written a book and then you are wondering about how to get about it, publishing it on Amazon, and perhaps, especially if you don't have a lot of money, you don't have a, a budget for it, right? So I'm bringing something your way very soon. that you're going to see, and it's going to be exciting for you. Something that's going to help you publish your book for cheap, you know, for cheap you know if you want to also cover creating the cover designs for you creating um the account you know for um, editing your book you know and then putting it putting it out there on amazon so that you can also be an amazon published author that you have always desired to be so that is all from me for today i hope to see you when i see you and whatever you do don't forget that you too can excel because I know that it is too late to be a failure. I remain at Amazon and I'll see you in the group. Please don't forget to share this group to as many people as you possibly can. Don't forget to share this video. Don't forget to share this video with as many people as you possibly can. And tell, keep telling people that we, have not, we, are, we now have a community where their questions are answered where they are where they get um responses you know genuine responses that help them move further help them move further and get their goals achieved publishing books on amazon is not just about making money it's about building pedigree it's about gaining influence all over the world it's about building your profile as a writer as an author it's about it's about positioning yourself for global relevance and influence so if you understand this it will guide your intentions for going ahead to publish book stay safe and enjoy the rest of your weekend god bless you and bye bye peace